This is a quick uh, label box tutorial. So I'm just going to show you how to label the items properly. So the first thing to do is to obviously select which garment type it is. Now on the docks, there are different um, different issues you might run into. For example, does a polo shirt come under a top t-shirt or sweatshirt or does it come under a shirt or blouse? And uh, that will all be there. So in this case, this is quite clearly a sweatshirt. The difference between a sweatshirt and a sweater is that a sweatshirt has a different material on the inside to the outside, whereas a sweater is made up of all the same material. Then what you want to do is using your scroll, go in until you can kind of just about make out the pixels. For me, that's about there. And then begin labeling along the seam. Sometimes you'll get jagged edges. You just have to account for. Now you don't want to go too specific here because if you go too specific, um, you will take too much time. However, you definitely don't want to underdo it as well. Yeah, so now you can see I've labeled the whole garment pretty much. Um, and the next job to do is to label any of the accents. So you've obviously got the main uh, garment types here. Um, but then it goes to your head, uh, sorry, your um, accessories. So we've got uh, hood, collar, lapel, sleeve, epaulette, pocket, neckline, buckle. And if you don't know what any of these are, they're all listed on the dock. Um, so uh, take a look. The most important of these is sleeve. Now for me, the sleeve line starts just about where you can see that steam. The seam, sorry. So the seam goes all the way around here. And then obviously we'll cover the entirety of this, the seam. And then the same on this side here. And by the way, a quick way of zooming in and out is just to use your scroll and then do command shift Z, sorry. So you do shift Z every time you want to return back to normal. One thing to note as well is that you need to do a separate one for each sleeve. So whenever there are two of things, uh, you need to do separate ones for both. So I've done the first one here and I'm going to go ahead and press uh, sleeve again. Um, and that will enter the second one in. Yep, great. Now this is all done. I can press submit. Um, just to note, if you press skip, it means it will be added to a queue that I'll then look at. So uh, don't just skip one because it looks too hard because all that will happen is it will be added uh, right to the database. And if you're unsure, just uh, send either me or Connor an email. If you ever get a hanger, um, skip them because that will taint the data set. So um, yeah, just skip them and don't worry if there's a hanger in it. Yeah, thanks for watching and if you've got any questions, just you can send me a Facebook message or a, an email um, and there should be a few other bits and bobs on the dock as well. So um, look there first and then if you can't find it there, then just ask me. Yeah, I don't think I've mentioned my name yet, but it's uh, Woody and I just want to say thank you for helping us out on this project as well.